Hello, Dr. Joe here of the drjoe.com and the 2020 from.com. So, a couple of days ago, I got a message from a friend of mine who is also a medical doctor. Uh, he wanted me to do a video that will explain what good carbs and bad carbs are. And I was wondering why he wanted me to do that. And he said, well, he's having a hard time explaining to his patients uh, what the concept is. And he felt I would do a better job of uh, explaining it. I thought, okay, thank you very much for having that confidence in me. And hopefully I will justify his confidence uh, by way of this video. Now, carbs uh, have a bad reputation, both online and offline. But something you need to understand is that carbs are the body's preferred primary source of fuel. That is something you have to acknowledge. Now, instead of lumping all carbs together and giving them a bad name, what you want to do uh, is separate the good carbs from the bad carbs. And that's what we're going to be doing in this very video. So, here we go. So, we're going to be talking about good carbs versus bad carbs. And in this presentation, I'm going to tell you the things you need to know. And uh, to drive the point home, I'll give you some practical examples as well. So let's move on. Generally speaking, complex carbs are good carbs. In contrast, simple carbs are usually bad carbs. Here is a simple rule. Good carbs occur naturally in plant-based foods. Good carbs reside in plant-based foods. In contrast, bad carbs are either added to processed foods or are themselves heavily processed. Okay, so that's one distinction uh, between uh, good carbs and bad carbs. Now, what that means is that good carbs are usually whole foods, okay? So, for instance, this is a sweet potato and uh, this is a good carb. On the other hand, these are sweet potato chips or sweet potato crisps, depending on where you live. These are bad carbs, okay? These are bad carbs. Good carb, whole food, sweet potato, bad carbs, heavily processed. Good carbs are harder to digest. In contrast, bad carbs are easily digestible. And you're going to see the implication of this difference in digestibility shortly. What this means is good carbs raise your blood sugar gently after eating. Whereas bad carbs raise your blood sugar fast, okay, fast after eating, causing blood sugar spikes. So this is brown rice. This is harder to digest, okay, brown rice harder to digest. Just like we have this one here. This is red rice. Red rice, harder to digest. Now, if you compare that to Rice Krispies, which is easily digestible, or these uh, Kellogg's uh, Crunchy Nut Clusters, this is easily digestible, okay? And this will lead to a quick rise in your blood sugar levels. This will lead to a slower rise in your blood sugar levels. So good carbs, brown rice, good carbs, red rice, good carbs, Kellogg's uh, Rice Krispies or Kellogg's uh, Crunching Up Clusters, bad carbs. Good carbs stave away hunger much longer. In contrast, bad carbs make you feel hungry within two to three hours after consuming them. So here is another distinguishing feature, uh, the degree and the speed at which good carbs and bad carbs make you feel hungry afterwards. Good carbs bring your blood sugar back down to baseline gently. In contrast, bad carbs crash your blood sugar swiftly. And this is known as the sugar crash. And that has implications because it makes you feel hungry. These are rollouts. These rollouts will stay the way hunger for longer. It's not going to lead to a crash in your blood sugar levels after eating them within a couple of hours. So, rolled oats, good carbs. Still cut oats, even better. Better carb as well, okay? So, good carb. Compare that to these donuts. 
This will lead to a quick rise in your blood sugar levels and uh, what will happen eventually is you're going to have a crash in your blood sugar levels a couple of hours later and uh, that will stimulate hunger. So donuts, bad carbs. Good carbs have plenty of nutrients. They got carbs, okay, they got carbohydrates, they got protein, they got a small amount of fat. So for the most part, good carbs have all the macronutrients and some minerals and vitamins as well. In contrast, bad carbs are usually stripped of vital nutrients. Some are so nutrient poor, they just have calories and nothing else. Uh, these are the carbs we describe as having empty calories. So that's another distinguishing feature between good carbs and bad carbs. So what have I got here? This is corn on the cob. This corn here is whole corn. It's got carbohydrates, it's got some protein, and it's got some fat. But beyond that, it's got some vitamins and minerals as well. That means this corn is nutrient dense. This is a good carb. You compare that to this Coca-Cola soda here. Hardly any nutrients here. All you're gonna get here is just calories. This is a food that will provide you with empty calories. It is nutrient poor. And uh, that means this is a bad carb. So bad carb, good carb. Good carbs are usually loaded with fiber and some have bran. Bad carbs, on the other hand, lack fiber or when they do have fiber, they have very little. Another distinguishing feature between good carbs and bad carbs, the presence of fiber and how much fiber they got. These are red lentils. These are fiber rich, good carb. On the other hand, here we've got chocolate, hardly any fiber in here. This is fiber poor. So this is a bad carb. Good carb, red lentils, bad carb, chocolate. Good carbs can be useful for weight management and bad carbs on the other hand are bad for weight management. They actually cause weight gain as they make you overeat. This is zucchini or courgette depending on where you live. This is a good carb. This is good for weight management. On the other hand, these muffins here, these blueberry muffins here, they are bad carb. They are bad for weight management. So this is a bad carb. This is a good carb. Let's move on. Good carbs help you manage chronic conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. Bad carbs, on the other hand, predispose you to develop chronic conditions like high blood pressure, heart disease, and diabetes. This is kale vegetable, okay? This is a good carb. It will help you manage high blood pressure, manage diabetes. Good carb. On the other hand, these, these are cookies. These are bad carbs. These are going to predispose you to developing high blood pressure, diabetes, and uh, other chronic conditions. So, uh, bad carb. Cookies, bad carb. Vegetables, good carb. Good carbs are anti-inflammatory. On the other hand, bad carbs are inflammatory. Let's move on. Good carbs feed your God's friendly bacteria, okay? Your God friendly bacteria, they love good carbs because good carbs, generally speaking, are prebiotics. On the other hand, bad carbs are loved by your God's unfriendly bacteria, the pathogenic disease causing bacteria. This is an eggplant or aubergine, depending on where you live. Good carb. This is anti inflammatory. Your gut friendly bacteria, they love this, okay? Compared to this here, this is a cake. Uh, of course, uh, your gut friendly bacteria, this is not a food for them. This is food for your gut unfriendly bacteria, the pathogenic bacteria, the disease causing bacteria. They will love this cake. And what that means is this cake is inflammatory. So eggplant, good carb, cake, bad carb. So hopefully you now have a clear concept of what good carbs and bad carbs are. And like I said earlier on in the video, the finger pointing should be towards these guys, okay? These are bad carbs, these chocolates, this cake, this Coca-Cola soda, these are sweet potato chips, these muffins, 
these Kellogg's Crunchy Nut Clusters, those are the bad carbs. Those are the carbs that you should be avoiding as much as possible. Uh, these good guys, okay, these red rice, brown rice, quinoa, eggplant, zucchini or courgette, red lentils, these are good guys, okay, and they will feed your gods good guys as well. These ones will feed your gods bad guys. So the concept should be clear to you now as far as good carbs versus bad carbs uh, are concerned. So hopefully you got some value from this very video. If you did, uh, please give the video a thumbs up. Please like the video and also please share this video with your friends, with your family, with your colleagues. Uh, if you got any questions regarding uh, this very video, go ahead and leave your questions down below. Um, I think that's about it. Until next time, well, this is Dr. Joe signing out.